Use positive reinforcement exclusively with your children. You will have horrible children. All right, guys, you guys need a little pep talk. Many of you need a little pep talk. You have permission to stop your dog from doing incorrect behaviors all the time, right? I'm not talking about aggression, leash reactivity. You don't know how to do that stuff, or many of you don't know how to do that stuff. It's complicated stuff. It's hard, it takes time, it takes money to learn from professionals. I'm, not, I'm just talking about normal around the house stuff. I have people drop dogs off all the time. Someone dropped a dog off today and they said, the guy said, and he just takes stuff and runs around and I can't get it back and, and he just jumps on counters and I'm thinking, then stop him from doing it. And I told him, and I'm very plain with my clients, stop him from doing it. You guys know what to do. You don't think you know what to do, but you actually do know what to do. Would you let a person come into your house and you take them in and you feed them and you spend thousands of dollars on them and you have fun with them and you drive them around and then would you let them do whatever they want to you without you saying, knock it off. We're over this, you can't do that. No, you wouldn't, or I don't think you would. So it's enough with your dog. If the dog takes something, you go get them, you grab them, they feel the energy in your arm, you take it out of their mouth until the dog says it's sorry. How does it say it's sorry? It ears pin and it goes, okay, sorry lady. That's what you do. That's not, you, you know this. I think people have been told by society, by Facebook pages. I follow like Bark Magazine on Facebook and basically it's just like to deal with all these problems is all positive reinforcement. Like there's whole industries, media industries, and all it is is you guys are fed wrong information. It's not even real. The methods that you have been told to do, the positive reinforcement methods you have been told to do to fix problem behaviors aren't real. It's fake. The whole thing is fake. Now, I'm not talking about sits and, sits and downs. That's easy. Watch YouTube, train to sit and down. It's cake. I'm talking the other stuff. I'm talking your dog running around wildly doing what it wants to do. You got to be over it. It's an attitude thing. It's not a what exactly do I do in one, this one situation? It's all attitude. You deal with it the same way. You tell the dog clearly, <laughs> clap is a marker, a noise is a marker, a no. I don't really care what it is. There's a noise, which is a marker, then there's a punishment. Then there's a correction, whatever you want to call it. Mark and correct, mark and punish. I call it mark and punish. All day. Two people drop their dogs off today. The dogs are just running around doing whatever they want all the time. And it's like, no big deal, or I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You tell the dog to knock it off. Forget all the information you hear. It's all fake, it's not real. It's not real. It is done for, I don't know why it's done. It's done because we only can be nice to our dogs. Can you only be nice to your kids? Use positive reinforcement exclusively with your children. You will have horrible children. I'm not saying you spank them. I'm not saying anything like that. Just try to use only, every time they do something, give them an M&M. &M. That's your whole life. Giving them an M&M &M and not letting them do the wrong behavior. No, no, we gotta manage so they don't, so keep them in your house, keep your kids in your house all the time and give them M&Ms when they do something right. You would never do that. Why are we doing that with dogs? You're doing that with dogs and then you're paying people like me to fix your dogs. You're being frustrated, you're giving your dogs up for a dog, you're, doing, you're waiting years, you're having dogs control your life, can't go out of town because you guys don't wanna get serious with your dogs. It's enough. These young dogs, nine months old, doing whatever they want, tell them it's, it's over, you're done. That behavior is unacceptable and I'm gonna let you know it's unacceptable. I could do, I could, I'm not talking aggression, I'm not talking leash reactivity, I'm not talking separation anxiety. Those are complicated issues you need step-by-step -step, uh, solutions for. A dog counter surfing, is not complicated. You mark the behavior, you get up, you grab the dog until the dog says it's sorry. And then you do it again. Then you do it again, then you do it again, then the behavior goes away. 
That's it. If you're not, and if you're, and then, so what people do with counter surfing is they say off, the dog gets off. They sit over there, they say off, dog gets off, and they think they're training the behavior. There's no consequence. The dog goes up, gets off, goes up, gets off, goes up. There's no training. That's not training. That's nothing. Okay, the dog's still doing the behavior. If your dog is still doing the behavior, you are, your correction is not enough. You need to up the punishment. Okay, oh, I still, I posted a video yesterday talking about punishment and how I'm using it for the in operant conditioning terms for punishment. And people, and, and like how people didn't like that, or some people were like, oh, you should say correction. And then even in that video I just posted, people are like, oh, you shouldn't say punishment. They, they keep saying it. I don't care. The, op, the correct term operantly is punishment. I'm not going to use another word because it makes people feel better. When I say punishment, I don't care how you feel about it. It is operantly, the, scientifically, it is the correct word to use. Looking at a dog and going, or a kid and going, hey, don't do that. That is punishment. Okay, so technically, I'm going to keep using that word, even if you don't like it. Mark and punish. Okay, so the punishment is not enough. Do you hit them? No. Do you e-collar them? No. Do you kick them? No. But you grab them, you tell them, sit down until they say they're sorry. Ears pinning, going, okay, mom, holy mackerel, you've never done that to me before. I didn't know I couldn't jump on the counter because all you did was every time I got on the counter, you sit off. I didn't know that, how would I know that's the wrong behavior? That's what they're saying to you, okay? Get your, get your, sort of your, uh, your alpha hat on. You're the boss of the house. You're the leader of the house. Forget all the noise from society. Forget it. Society doesn't, doesn't matter in your home. The PC thing doesn't matter in your home. A well-trained dog matters in your home. You might, you love your dog. I get it. You also love your kids. Doesn't mean you don't say, go to your room. We're done. Knock it off. We're done when they're teenagers, when they're 12. Don't do it with babies, just like you don't do what I'm saying with puppies. Up until like seven months, I can let dogs get away with a lot. They're puppies. Their brain's not formed. I'm not hardcore about jumping. I'm not hardcore about counter surfing. I'm not hardcore about anything. But once they hit an age, it's time to tell them to knock it off in no uncertain terms. That's your pep talk, you guys. Forget the noise out there. It's not real. It's not real. right? You being the person who you know to be and to not let people and animals around you do what they want even when it affects your life is not okay. People and animals need to be told, knock it off. That's not okay behavior. It needs to happen in society. It needs to happen in your own home with your dog. You're not hurting your dog. You're not physically hurting them. You're not emotionally hurting them. You are drawing boundaries on what is acceptable and what is unacceptable. And draw those boundaries and be clear about those boundaries. That's it. Time to up your game as being a dog owner. Okay? So, subscribe. This is what this channel is about to be honest with you. We're nice, I'll do puppy stuff all day. It's easy, it's easy puppy stuff, okay? But this, this is what 80% of you want and need, that normal, my dog's tearing things up, my dog's counter surfing, my dog's pulling on the leash. You've seen all my leash pulling stuff. My dog is uh, jumping on me when I come home. I can tell you how to do those things. Here's your step on jump, blah, 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 blah. How about you just have the attitude of I'm not somebody that gets jumped on. How would you do that? Just deep down, how would you do that? Think about it. Don't wait for me to tell you how to do that. How would you do that? Maybe deep down in you, you say, well, I would say, knock it off, and I'd walk into the dog. Yeah, you're right. That's what you would do. That's what, you, that's what your gut probably tells you to do. But then other things are telling you not to do that. Trust your gut. You wouldn't let someone come into your home and take advantage of you. Don't let your dog come into your home and take advantage of you. You've done a lot for your dog. Now, are dogs and people the exact same? No. The behavior is pretty similar, though, actually. They come in, you take care of them, blah, blah, blah. And then when you don't draw lines, they will test all the boundaries and they will constantly counter surf because sometimes it gets them to a piece of bread. 
They will jump on you because they want to be close to you. They will do that stuff until you, until you tell them not to do that. Somebody, a human might come into your house and they will test the boundaries until you tell them not to do that. It's time to tell your dog, that's not okay. But you need me to tell you this, but you kind of shouldn't. Do what you know to do. That's the video. Don't forget to subscribe. It helped me out a lot.